Welcome to The Restaurant Show. I'm your host, Jessa Jeremiah, and we're gonna check out some great local spots today. We're gonna start with Christie's Landing right on the water. Then we're gonna try Fuji's, which is a fabulous restaurant. They do lots of great things inside. We're gonna check it out later. Then we're gonna head out to Monroe, and we're gonna to talk to Vince's Restaurant and Pizzeria. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Fantastic pizza. It's all on your guide to the best restaurants in town so you can skip the rest and enjoy the best. We'll tell you where to go coming up on The Restaurant Show. Okay guys, welcome back to The Restaurant Show. We are back with Christie's Landing and who better to tell us what's going on at Christie's? We've got Eric who has joined us a couple times now yeah. and we are so glad to have you back. So, I'm always excited to see what you guys are gonna do. Uh, yeah, it's I always know. something fun. Always something fun. <laughs> I see some drinks makings on yeah. the table here, so I know we're going to do something cool with that. Yeah. Tell yeah. us about what you're going to start with. Well, we're going to make a drink that was kind of inspired by the 4th of July. Yeah. I guess I'm going to call it America. But Love it. America. <laughs> that's how we're going to do this. There you go. Um, it is a very sweet drink. We've done, you know, things like margaritas. Yeah. We've done the chiller. You know, everything's got its own idea. Well, yes. there is that person that really wants that super sweet drink during the summer. Oh yeah, so, I know a few of those people actually. Uh, <laughs> this is one of those that you can make at home. It's very, very simple. Um, glass of ice. Okay. We, of course, use the Christie's Flair. Yes. A little bit of sugar. There we go. Bit, uh, blue carousel. I was just gonna say, is that blue sugar? So you actually do the blue, what is it? We actually take blue carousel. Okay. Which is fairly light liquor. Uh -huh. Um, dip it in there. So your rim even has a little kick. Absolutely. <laughs> That's Christie's flair for you. A little bit more alcohol into an alcoholic drink. There That's kind of what we're looking for. <laughs> this is alcohol infused rim. Basically. So get a little bit of the blue color. Get Very a little cool. bit of sugar. Love that. We start off with everybody's favorite Smirnoff ice. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. But you got to use it with this one because so, it's called America for a reason. Interesting. So you're actually using this as part of your mixed drink. I have not seen this before. Yeah. This is um, new. I we like start it. with Smirnoff Ice, which uh -huh. is a malt beverage, of course. Yes. Then we take our little Christie special, a little okay. bit of cherry we juice. Won't, we won't make you indulge in your hopefully, secrets, but... Hopefully it'll work this time. Let's see how it goes. Juice. Okay. Split down at the bottom. So, oh yeah, it is. It's separating. Look at that. Can we catch that there? Awesome. We've oh, got a little split. Splitting. Last chance, blue UV. Just kind of float that up on oh top. Oh my God, I bet that's so delicious. And it is, it's staying separated. How cool is that? And you got your red, white, and blue. That is awesome. That's so. America cocktail. Yeah, that's so cool. So is this like a, you said it's a sweet drink. It's incredibly sweet. I can sweet. imagine it is. Um, Are we catching tastes, that? It tastes like well, America. Yeah. It tastes like your childhood. It tastes literally like a bomb pop. That's I mean, awesome. It is fantastic. But again, a little dangerous. It is pretty yeah. much all alcohol. All alcohol, <laughs> but if, if it's so sweet, that's probably the danger, is it tastes so good, mm -hmm. but um, all alcohol. So look at that though. That is really cool how you guys do that. I love Red, it. Red, white, and blue action. This actually started as a shot, but then. Fourth of July came around and somebody was like, I just want a drink, I want a drink that's red, white, and blue. What are you doing? I'm like, this, maybe? I, yeah. I think I can try it out. Something. So, so you guys are inventors. Yeah. You invent based on the customer. Pretty much. And as whatever's much as I going can. on. Yeah, yeah. Love that. So um, you guys have great drinks, but you also have some great appetizers, yes, great food. And in fact, I was just there for dinner not too long ago and experienced some of the Christie's flair. Um, talk Christie's to me about flair. talk to me about shrimp Christie's. Yes, this I'm very is excited about this. One of our by far best sellers. Okay. This was created by our chef Chris. Um, something simple, something rich, not a ton of food to go with it. Yeah. So what he decided to do was take. Jumbo shrimp. Yes. <laughs> Look at this. Wrap it in some pepper jack cheese. Oh my gosh. And then wrap it in bacon. Yes, please. Uh huh. And then Love we're it. Go ahead and throw it in the deep fryer. Look at that. Now, that looks awesome. You guys and are saying, what's the Christie's flair? What Cajun is the Christie's flair? Okay. The seasoning gets put on the top before it gets put in the deep fryer. Uh -huh. So basically, it's just kind of. Not yeah. overpowering, but yet just a little bit of a kick. A little bit of a so. kick on your shrimp. That is awesome. Cheese, yes. Bacon, yes. And some Cajun seasoning. <laughs> so you're going to need your sweet drink, right, <laughs> to go with it because this is going to have a little kick. 
and this will help calm me down. Absolutely. There you go. There's your combo. That's what you got to go yeah, order definitely. at Christie's. Um, but you guys have an event coming up. I know you guys are always doing stuff over there. We do. Uh, summertime is huge for us. Lots yeah. of stuff outside, lots of volleyball going on. But the big event of the summer is our antique and classic boat show. Okay. So basically what we do is we pair with the Clean Water Alliance. Okay. And we have them gather up a bunch of antiques, crisscrafts, um, Mastercrafts, all the kind of antique wood boats that you kind of see one or two tooling around the lakes. We bring them all to Christie's and put them all in one spot. So oh, we neat. basically fill up our entire pier with classic and wooden boats. Oh wow, that's cool. It is, it's one of the big events. Uh, we do a fish boil on Friday night for them and then all day Saturday you it's open to absolute the public, and there's no cover charge. Oh, really? So they can just come out and check out all these cool boats, and sometimes we have stuff for sale, sometimes we have boats out there for So that sounds like a lot. fun day. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's a good day, um, especially if the weather holds up, which it's supposed yes. to, hopefully so far. So no cover charge for that. Yep. You can come out, have one of these delicious Americas, yes. and uh, <laughs> get some good appetizers, and your volleyball's up, you know, open throughout the summer, too. Yep. I couldn't believe, I was um, there on a Monday night and I just couldn't believe how many folks were out playing volleyball on Monday night and you said that's a slow night. Yeah, Monday nights are generally a little bit slower, but I mean, we've got anywhere from 12 to 14 teams Monday through Thursday, uh, somewhere around wow. 16 on Thursday nights. Um, volleyball goes from 6 till about 10 o'clock when the lights have to come off and <laughs> it's pretty much packed up until then. The it's a party. Open. Yeah. yeah. Party at Christie's. Exactly where you need to be. So. <laughs> yeah. Now tell me about this shirt. Liquor, beer, boats, sandwiches. I yes. mean, that kind of sums it up, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, these are our new staff shirts, and we also have them for sale. Okay. Uh, it basically is kind of a play back to 78 years ago or so when Christie's first started. It started as the Wabisa Beach Club. Yeah. Um, they sold everything from liquor, beer, boats, and sandwiches, but yep. they also had gas. That's the one thing that we don't have this. Ah. Um, so it was started in the, in the same family, and then it's just kind of been passed down through the years. Um, the shirt is kind of a throwback to the old school, you know, try to make it a little bit more modern too. So. Yeah, I'm going to point out, this is the old sign, right? So she's got she close up there, so that's the sign that they actually that was actually there yeah. back in the day. Yep, we actually have this sign hanging up in the bar. Um, it's just, I mean, oh, like everything else, Christie's is just family oriented, it's yeah. family friendly, it's, it's been a family business. Liquor, beer, boat, sandwiches, and Christie's shrimp, go get it, and Merica. All right, thanks so much, we'll have you back. You guys stay right there, we got more restaurant show coming up right after the break. After the break, we are checking in with Fuji. We've got some great characters on, you won't wanna miss them. Welcome back to the restaurant show. We're on location here at Fuji in Middleton. What a great spot. You may recognize this young man. This is Kelvin. It's me again, guys. What's going on? Yeah, so excited to be here. You guys are awesome. And Thank we're going to cover some of the, we've talked a little bit about dinner. We're going to talk about some things later on as we go through here, uh, some different segments. But right now, we're talking specifically about drinks and tapas. So. Let's talk about some of the best ones, in your opinion. You got so much to offer. Well, yes, we definitely do got so much to offer here. You know, we could use traditional sushi appetizers, or we could do, you know, just any type of snack snack appetizers that we do have here that there are plenty to choose from. But I want to start off with some of the drinks to start your night off because okay. if you're gonna have a meal, you want to make sure your stomach's relaxed and happy for you. There and a drink of choice that I have today. Especially for the ladies, the ladies love this one. It's our Fuji Punch. Okay, Fuji Punch. I like Hurricane how you glass. say you relax the stomach. You gotta get, you gotta get it relaxed. Dinner. You know, yeah. make sure everything's good. Um, <laughs> so just to start off this one, it's a pretty sweet drink. Like I said, the ladies okay. love it. Start off with a little bit of Malibu in there. Okay. Can't go wrong. Coconut rum. Yep. All right. That sounds like a good one. And then we throw in a little bit more sweet. There's some peach schnapps All as right. well. Oh, and then uh, to finish it off, a little bit of strawberry. Now, okay. as you can see there, the strawberry schnapps, the red look in there, you're gonna see a fun little trick I'm gonna do with that that everybody loves here. Got it. Gonna come off here, grab some ice. So you may not have known this is a great spot to come have a few drinks, happy hour, and hang out. There we go, there we go. And we always we... say it's five o'clock somewhere, right? It's gotta be somewhere at <laughs> least. So, after we got all the sweet alcohol in there, uh -huh. we had a little bit of refreshing juice to get the day going, some orange and pineapple right, right. to the top there. Beautiful, look how pretty that is. Now, as I'm garnishing Gorgeous. it, here comes the best part. Here yes. comes the best part. First, we do the nice little oh, strawberry, fresh and, look at that. fresh and beautiful. Some orange to start the day. 
beautiful. Yeah, a little bit nice. of fresh pineapple because what's a punch without a little you tropical need, fruit? You need tropical fruit, I but, agree. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Ready to hang out on the beach, right? Perfect. And this actually goes great with some chicken yeah. satay. So you guys have so many appetizers. I'm looking at the menu here. Crab rangoon, coconut shrimp, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, edamame, which I love. And this is chicken on a stick. So. Yep. Chicken's on a stick, chicken satay. Don't matter how you say it, it's gonna come out just as delicious. Can for I give you. it a try? Of course, of Let's course. See. This it's actually beautiful. I don't want to ruin the display because it's gorgeous. But so that one's actually good, you know, just by itself. Okay. Uh, I mean, we also got the yum yum sauce that we do with the mm -hmm. hibachi. You can't go wrong there. Oh my god! How's it taste? It's amazing. Fantastic, this fantastic is really good. there. Okay. You got another drink you want to do though, so I won't. Yes, keep you actually, I mean, while I eat we my always, chicken on a stick. It's like I said, we want to make sure everything always looks great, and then uh, something that actually good. goes great with this next appetizer right here, we got some gyozas or the pork dumplings. A lot of people they'll come into the restaurant. The gyoza, the gyoza. Uh, no, I didn't say it's that because I didn't know how to pronounce it either. Just for gyoza. next time, yeah, gyoza. Okay. Easy as that. Perfect. You know, pork dumpling. It's like a. You know, traditional Japanese snack there, it's really good. Awesome. And uh, speaking of, you know, keeping it traditional, we're gonna start with our traditional drink that we like to do here, the melon ball. All right. This one is a popular one. Yeah, it's also popular be. that I like to make as well. Um, okay, just, one of your favorites. Just the color of it, and yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I do indulge on it. It's a pretty good drink there. One you so, occasionally try yourself. Yeah, every now and then, you know, just to be safe. So, <laughs> start off with a little Midori. Okay. Throw in some triple sec. It. This one's a really easy one, and I mean, it's one of those recipes like everybody tweaks, has their own twist on it. Sure. Like us, we do have our own twist on it. Um, ours is Midori triple sec and okay. some sweet and sour. Okay. It is... This is fun. It brings me back to my uh, like restaurant days, like I was saying, behind the bar here. <laughs> this is my first time behind the Fuji bar. I don't know if I'll be hired or even welcome back. But. I mean, if you know any sweet bar tricks, you know. <laughs> we tried some before we started. They didn't work out too well. It did not well. work out so the we way we wanted it to. So yeah. we'll skip out on that. We'll save it for the blooper reel. All right, so this is the fun part, my favorite. Shaking it up. I mean, it's like, it's like watching your food getting made. Like when you see a drink get shaken up, it's, it's you know, wonderful. it's gonna build up a little hype for you. <laughs> It's part of the performance here at Fuji. I mean, it's all a performance. Oh, no, okay. I mean, you should see on the other episodes, Han will give you a performance. Yeah, tell they've you got what. some great chefs here. Lots of really good food. They have such a big menu. Oh, my gosh. We're just showing off a couple of the appetizers, but just a huge menu, even a kid's menu. So that's really nice. It is family friendly. Look or you can come by yourself that. and indulge in a few drinks. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. We are ready to hang out at the beach. This is like a poolside cocktail right there. You want to give that a sure, little taste? Sure, I'll give that one You a can't taste. go wrong right, there. Let's see. Do I use the straw? I, I feel, always feel like go we go. You can't go wrong with the straw. But a little I sip. I like right out of the glass. Mm, How's it taste? It's awesome. Good? Cheers. Delicious. Fantastic. Okay, now mm. what are these appetizers too? Because I want to try this one. So, the gyoza, pork yeah. dumpling. Classic traditional style, mm, you know, Asian style snack here. Too. Oh, and actually, I forgot to put this up here. Oh, okay, that goes sesame with that. sauce. Yes, it goes really that. great with it. All right. Brings out the flavor of the pork in there, mm -hmm. um, the dough, everything. It just mm -hmm. clashes great together. So really good. Wow. What do you think? The food is awesome. I can't, you know, I can't just you know mm, stand know. idly by it and just let this get. Oh, it's great. Mm. Great drinks, great food. Taking out while I'm sitting here. Mm. This is a great spot to come hang out. We're over in Middleton, here at Fuji. Come for dinner, Come. you guys are open for lunch too. We're actually open for lunch too. We do hibachis during lunch as well, but if oh, you wow. prefer, you know, a nice, more quiet, relaxing setting, come to the bar, come talk with me, or have a nice booth to yourself, keep it private, whatever you want, because, you know, we want to make sure everybody's happy, comfortable, mm -hmm. and on top of that, they're eating good, so. This is a really beautiful space too. It's a big restaurant. There's all kinds of, uh, just great spots to sit. So whether the bar is your style, hanging out at the sushi bar, or hibachi, mm -hmm. like Kelvin said, Lots of fun. Well, thank you so much for having us. Of course, of course. Been, Thanks for coming fun. in, guys. So, cheers. Gonna, yeah, well, cheers on the way out. We're here at Fuji. This is the restaurant show, and we're going to be back in just a minute. Stick with Come us. Come see us, guys. When we return, we're heading out to Monroe. We're going to check in with Vince's Restaurant and Pizzeria. That's next. Welcome back to the restaurant show. We have taken a nice little trip here to Monroe. We are at Vince's Restaurant and Pizza, and oh my gosh, I love this place. 
and now hopefully you're going to fall in love with it too. There's lots of reasons to do so. I'm joined of course by the lovely folks from Vince's. This is Fabio, the owner, and, and we've also got Braden and Giacomo, both managers here, and thank you for having us out today. What a nice day to be here. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for, for showing us. Yeah, well, you know what? I love your restaurant. I love the food, as you know. Um, for many reasons, and we're going to share the reasons with you in just a minute. It's June, and we've got a lot to talk about. The very first thing that I want to talk about is the elephant in the room, which is this gigantic pizza that is sitting on this table. So tell me, share with viewers what this is. This is a mac and cheese pizza. So, for, well, for a while, we had, like, a, for kids. So on Father's Day, uh, on that month of June, this month, I want to bring it in for adults. And you know, once you take a bite into it, you see that this isn't just your ordinary pizza, right. of course. Well, um, let's look at it yeah, because yeah. if you, I'm not familiar yeah. with a mac and cheese pizza. Well, that, that, that's, that is 100%, this is Monroe made, starting from a pasta where we, 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 you know, we make it. The, the sauce, the cheese sauce that goes in there, we make it ourselves. Mozzarella cheese, 100% Wisconsin. You know, That's yeah. awesome. Isn't There's it? literally macaroni and cheese it's in a here. Work of and heart. bacon on top, right? Is that what a, that is? A work of heart. I don't a know what I, what else can I... All, so you, a lot of this stuff is sourced from Monroe, you yeah, said. Yeah, yes, yes. So you're that's why I'm this. proud of that. That's, that's, we can be a but, kid this month. Yeah, you can. Yeah, okay, that's, I was it. thinking about big kids this month. That's mm -hmm. where we, I was going with that. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, that's awesome. Is it, isn't <laughs> it's it? It's different. Wow, yeah, you guys yeah. are so creative. Yeah. I love yeah, that yeah. because I would never think to put these things together, and it's yeah. so good. And now we love bacon. We love cheese, we love bacon, Who you know. This is Wisconsin. When I first came yeah. when I first came from Wisconsin told me we put butter and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I I went with that. That was my base. I started with that. Like in Italy, it's actual virgin olive oil. <laughs> That's our base. Oh. So we started Not with over that. here, yeah. <laughs> but yep, yep. no, it's great. This is really good. So I love that we can get this now and be a kid and the crust I, is I, good. I think you want some too over there. Yeah, I know. They're <laughs> eyeing the pizza from behind. Um, but it's all good, the ingredients are good. Okay. I guess we gotta move on, although I could stay on this pizza all day. But speaking of Father's Day, now you've got a special menu here, and one of the things on this menu you've got featured on the table. So talk to us about the um, prime rib, or the, oh. san the, sa the yeah, prime, prime rib sandwich, sandwich is gonna be on the, here. Yep. And also yep. the ribeye is yep. on here too? Yes, yes, a, a steak so sandwich. The, first, oh, first, got, first choice got uh, okay. steaks. Steak. So for fathers can get either yep. one of these, yep. so we'll we get, cover yep. them. Yep. We usually, what we do with these, we usually cut it fresh. Those are, fr uh, that's a fresh cut. Right by. Yes, right, right per order. You know, we usually balance it between, uh, I want to say 12 to a 14 ounce cut, fresh cut. But wow. the tender of that meat, it's, 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 it's amazing. Okay. You know, for those who might thought, you know, I'm going to an Italian restaurant, you know, we'll uh, uh, I'm not getting a steak. Well, we do a lot of those for steaks. everybody. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, but I'm also proud. I'm oh, not good. just You've cooking got a, steak a steak for me here. You, you see what let's, I'm saying? Let's look at this, folks. Yep. We're gonna cut in and just. Kind I of did see. a medium rare, just like you like. Oh, it. perfect. Yep. Okay, I'm cutting right into the middle because I yep. want to see the tender cut of meat. Look at that steak. So we can get this for Father's Day. Father's got to get a steak on Father's Day, right? I right. mean. I think, guys I think it's like tradition. That's it right. is tradition. Yeah, I think so. And when we what also going to have prime rib, prime rib on that day. Wow. Um, ribs. I'll tell you how it is. Yep. You better take a small bite because you know yep. the steak is on TV. Mm-hmm. This is awesome. Must have. Not just for fathers. Mom yeah. wants one too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, really good. Um, so, and is this on the menu all the time or special no, for no, Father's Day? No, this is a Father's Day, um, well, the steak is, but the way it was cooked, the way, we, uh, the way it was marinated, okay. you know, it, I, it will be served the normal steak, mm -hmm. but with the same meat, but this one is marinated with... So you always have steak, stuff. this is yes. just a little special yes. twist yes. for, so just for to make Father's it, Day. Just to, to make it a special day. And we okay. also, you know, the first 50 father, we will give out uh, Vince's t-shirt. Now oh, this has been traditional, yeah. so we, we always done that. So yeah. it's not it's not something uh, something new. I love your cute t-shirts too; they're fun. Okay, um, let's talk about the sandwich. Now before we started, you told me that nobody does a sandwich like this. No, no, so no. Why? Why is that? Yeah, well, let's you take a bite it. on it. I, 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 I can. I love a sweet potato. I can fry talk too. about Those this awesome. and talk about oh. this. I feel like I'm on a brag, but you take a bite mm -hmm. on it and you taste the meat. You know, um, I, I, you you do this for a living. These so I'm, I'm putting you to the test here. I eat for a living. That's, that's the truth. Yeah, well, we try so many restaurants, you know. Uh, so I, okay, I, while I be... do that, 
Um, we got a couple minutes left, and I want to make sure we talk about this really pretty cocktail, and then I'll I'll tell you if this if it lives up to, to this all of the hype. Yeah. So what's that cocktail? Is that yeah, a, cocktail a cocktail you got over there? Yeah, that's a brandy old fashioned. Um, it's one of the most I would mm. say popular drinks here at Vince's, especially for the guys. The guys really go for it. I made it a little yeah. fruity, put a little fruit on to make it look pretty, but mm -hmm. it's a very delicious drink. I can't talk anymore, so you got to take it. <laughs> it's gone. This is amazing. <laughs> All right, what else? And you have a lot of local beers, too. Yes. Some other options, too. But I think that's great. Yeah, and then the brand new fashion will be on special the month of June mm. for all the fathers. I mean, the ladies as well, of course. But it's going to be the drink of the month, so you can get a special price. It's yeah. It's going to be awesome. I think that's great. This sandwich really is incredible. Uh, this is what I'm going to eat as we go to break. Um, it's, not, it's not chewy, it's not, it's not, it's just, everything breaks apart. It, it, you got the bread toasted it, yeah. just right, there's yeah. just the perfect amount of cheese on it, the right. meat is so tender and good, oh, it's just perfect. I know we're talking a lot about Father's Day, but mom's out there. Listen, I really think that you should take dad here and, you know, it's for dad, right? Get the brandy, he wouldn't wants the brandy old fashioned and the steak, but I think mom does too. It's a pretty good, good place to be. And yep. any smart man always wants to make the mom happy as well, so. <laughs> so good. I love it. I love it. Any final closing remarks, Giacomo? What do you think about Father's Day? You guys, you're a father now. No, so. I'm a father now, so yeah, it's pretty exciting mm -hmm. for me too. So I definitely, if I wouldn't work, I would have come to Binzis. <laughs> so come to Binzis. <laughs> you guys are wonderful. This is a great atmosphere. Um, very friendly folks here. As you can see, it's really a, a small family. And um, we enjoy it very much. And the food, of course, is to die for. Really good stuff. So thank you. Thank you. Well, well, thank Again, you. we're out here at Vince's Restaurant and Pizzeria. We're in Monroe. It's a fabulous spot. Come on down and stay with us. We've got more restaurant show coming up after this, so stick around. Thanks so much for joining us today. I had so much fun checking out all these great local spots with you. I'm Jessa Jeremiah, reminding you that life is too short to eat average. <laughs>